Hi, I'm Indy, and in this video, I will be taming the Yi Ling, the newest, hottest glider that is currently in aberration. So we're starting with a reverse trap. It'll be a hexagon, one level, with stone doorways so that we can be inside and be protected from the Yi Ling because the Yi Ling needs to be gliding around us in order to get the attack animation that we need. So we're just gonna set this up. It's two walls high. This ended up being a mistake. The first thing that I found very tedious was trying to get the attention of the Yi Ling so that I can run back to my little safe house. They can absolutely shred you once your armor is down. Now we got little zeros for our hits, but that's because it's taking damage away from my armor. It'll eventually go away. I'm not wearing the best armor I could, but it really just took one dive for them to destroy it. Unfortunately, inside the Hexagon house, the Yi Ling was able to hit me when it did its dive and I was gone. We were done for. On the next round, I decided to just build a simple stone two by two square foundations, two walls high. Hopefully I would have enough, you know, space between the outer edge of the wall and the center so that when the little guy did dive, he wouldn't be able to hit me. So I went out, found another Yi Ling and lured it back to my little square hut to start the process over. Now at this point, everything seemed to be going great. Just wait for it to stick about 30 pins and then it'll kind of activate the, the hunting mode where it wants to find you and dive at you. And you know what? That worked pretty well. Throw my little grenade. I had my narcotics. If you did the narcotics, I did come across a problem where the Yi Ling was able to dive bomb in from the top. So I was thinking maybe in the future I would add three walls high instead of two. I was apprehensive about actually putting a ceiling on top though. After going at this for a while, I realized I'm feeding this narcotic to this guy and I don't even know what his torpor is. I don't have a magnifying glass or anything because duh. I need to get my little fancy reusable tech binoculars. So I go ahead and get one. I go ahead, try to get a beat on him. And I barely got a quarter, a quarter down. And I had spent so much time already. I was so tired. I was so tired. And I'm like, can I get some biotoxin? I felt like that's what I needed. I quit trying to find jellyfish. They're just too sparse. And when I was leaving the Bioloom area, because I went in there without a light pet, these little nameless chupacabra mother heckers followed me out into the fertile zone. I don't know. Can anyone tell me if this is like normal? It was 90% night. Okay. But these guys just kept following me and they followed me all the way down the river until I started jumping away. Then they didn't show up anymore, but um, yeah, very annoying, very frustrating, very creepy. I was afraid, you know, they're gonna get a, a reaper on me, but I think I might try to get a video of that because I think that'd be really cool to see a reaper in the fertile stone. <laughs> anyway, I figured I'd just go get biotoxin by looking for the poisonous mushroom patches and, you know, picking those guys. So while the reverse trap method technically did work, I just needed to spend more time either giving narcotic or biotoxin, I decided to do something different. Something special. Something that involved mods that I already had installed on my single player game. So what I did was I went to look for the desired yeeling and there was a level 130 just over yonder. So I got my Karkonos that I had taken from the wild as a baby, super easy way to get a Karkonos. And we just went to go snatch that little guy and we walked him over to the dome. This structure is from RR's floating platforms and this one is the dome and it creates a dome that you yourself cannot 
get out of and neither can creatures. You could toggle it on and off and it works perfectly. The structure itself is 20 foundations wide, just so you know. This is Dome. Now our Carcanus is gonna keep holding him. And then we're gonna do this. He's trapped. I made a small box. It is a two by two. It's directly on the floor in case I need to open this for whatever reason or close it. If I, you know, I'm just loose and like a goose. I made it three high because with two high, he can dive in if he's flying directly over it is not good so this is a little 130 female she will be perfect all right so i don't know if i should put my carcanos away uh, you know what let's do that just for ease okay all right let's go inside okay beautiful perfect let's get her activated let me make sure we can Duck back in here. A little fruit. Okay, twenty-seven. Three. Okay. I don't want to be close to the edge. She can. All right, biotoxin is where it's at. It does way more than fucking narcotic. Let her hit us before the timer runs out. Come on. We'll run away for a little bit. Girl, the timer's gonna run out. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Eat that biotoxin, little wench. She can't go far, so we don't have to worry about her getting into any trouble. I have to let her hit us again. I think maybe three more times we'll do it. So I did have this problem where the Yiling would want to run away so she would just run in circles and i think that has a lot to do with her being in an enclosed space but it did not inhibit her ability to eventually glide up i noticed that once i backed out of the trap a distance away from her she would start gliding so that she could start attacking me so eventually i started catching on watch her boom right in the face Boom. Fuck. Duped me. Gotcha, bitch. Right, triggered her. Fine, you fucking gnarly bitch. All right, feed. She's down. Perfect. We freaking finally did it. I think the dome could have been much bigger. This was the small size, by the way. It comes in tiny, small, medium, and large. So maybe medium would have been good, but I was afraid it would be way too big. Anyway, we're gonna feed this bean. I got two appetizers. Oh yeah. My tamey rates are very high, by the way. We got her Yi Ling! Shoo! Oh, that was an ordeal. It was a lot easier having the dome, though. That's pretty great. It did get damaged. I wonder what damaged it. Was she damaging it? 
Well, the dome is deactivated. I'll probably just leave it here. What is the health on this? Barely. Barely anything. Ugh, I don't cringe. Well, we got a Yi, a yi Ling. Um, it was a pretty good level. Alright, we're back home. We got our guys here. Uh, let's take out adult Yi Ling. Alright, she's gorgeous, of course. We're gonna have to make her a saddle really quick. But first, we're going to look at the babies I had found. Now, one... I did get one earlier. It was a level 15. Kind of not great. But there's this other level 60 that I found. And, um... He was pretty nice. I was out with my uh, Karkonos. And I found a female that had two babies. I didn't get the other one. Look at they match. Oh, how cute. Anyway, look at these chubby little fluffy babies. Why can't they make them look like they're naked little birds? I don't know why. I guess it's just too hard. But we're going to feed him some meat. Uh, my other carcanus is all grown up. Fantastic. And it ate all the meat I gave it. Do you have any meat? It's okay. Actually... I have meat on me. What am I thinking? We have to make sure we feed the baby before something bad happens. It is beautiful creature. Okay, there's some food. Perfection. There's plenty of sheep around, so I don't really have to worry about mutton too much. But here's little baby Yi Ling. I'm probably just going to breed this little guy with this female and we'll make some babies. And then that's when we'll put a saddle on him because I want to ride on an imprinted creature. Technically he's imprinted, but I don't think he's going to have the weight to actually carry me. Right now we're going to craft the saddle. The Yiling saddle is at level 50, but it doesn't require very much, which is pretty great. Let's have a look at that again. So hide, wood, and fiber. Yiling saddle. That'd be nice if somewhere down the road we find a blueprint. Maybe one inside a crate. That's of a significant quality. But for now, we'll just use this basic 25 armor one. Sounds fantastic. And of course, all these guys come with traits. Don't know what kind of traits they have because we can't see them yet. I don't have the gene thingy. Yeah, this level... level 86. What level am I yet? Oh, 83. Three levels away. We'll get there. We'll get there. Alright, we'll just wait for this little bambino to grow up, and then we'll make some little huevitos. I'm guessing they'll have eggs. It would be very funny if they were, you know, giving mammalian birth gestation, but you know what? You never know. Little guy, he's got little teethies in his mouth. Oh my word, he's got the bird teeth. Got the bird teeth. I would hate to get bitten by those things. They look horrific. Ooh. All right, little Bambino wants a cuddle. We love cuddling our babies. We're gonna cuddle the hell out of it. And because of my rates, it was 100% with one cuddle. All right, we got. Our little boy and our little gal, they're practically the same color, I think. The gal's a little more purple and he's definitely blue. Let's see. Yeah, he's kind of like a dark midnight and she's a light dino purple. Very nice. I love it. Uh, all right, let's get into breeding. Ooh, what's this? Allow AI special attacks. You know what? That's really great. Let's get her breeding. Let's see if an egg comes out. Please let an egg come out. Perfect. Let's see, it's too cold out here. All right, let's turn this off. We only need one for now. And you know what? We're gonna have to make a best baby treat cookie so that we get the best levels, preferably from the mom, because she's a higher level. All right, I turn on my two forges here, and it's just enough to get it to start incubating it, and it only takes two minutes, which is great, because I have more than enough fuel in these things to last almost an hour. So we'll start making our best baby treat. All right, we're making the best baby treat cookie. 
Unfortunately, nothing, none of these ingredients will spoil, so we'll just leave them in there. Perfect. Put out the fire. Don't need that anymore. I'm bouncing around. Yay, the baby's coming. 20 seconds. It's gonna be a miracle. Wow, I'm so glad this just worked on in a pinch. It's fantastic. Alright, five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday! Oh my god, we got two of them. We got two. I'm gonna... I'm gonna need two best baby treats. Can I make another one? You guys. Do I have enough? I do. All right, let's put those in the little dino balls for a second. And then we're gonna give them some mutton to eat because we only give the finest meat to our babies here on the Chanel. All right, we got our best baby treats. We got a boy and a girl, isn't that crazy? Wow. So, let's put out the fire. Don't want any accidents. We need our babies to be close to their parents for this to work. So, we're going to put one. And we don't want the Carcanos. We want the other baby. And oh, look at them. They're a little cute, 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 cute. That's all I could say. Cute. Alright, what level are you? 194. Perfect. We learned how to learn, my children. All right, let's give you some food so we don't have any little baby accidents. Yay. I know, I know. Just eat the food and you won't be so hungry. All right, we're going to have to go hunting for some for some more meat. Okay, these babies are little bad beans. This one wants to walk. I don't want to go for a walk. And this one wants cooked prime fish meat. This is unacceptable behavior. Unacceptable behavior. You better have changed your minds when you come out of them here pokey battles. Wanna go for a walk? Wanna go for a walk? You know what? We could walk you guys, okay? Maybe need some meat. We need meat back. We'll walk you. We'll walk your little pooters, okay? Y'all better be listening. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? I want that one. We want the follow distance. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're going for a walk. Come on, kids. This better be far enough for you. Look at him go. Where are you going, young, young lad? Stop going in a circle. There you go. Very good. All right. They are fully imprinted. Now we just need to grow them up and go for a run around. Please don't run to the fire. Also, let me turn these off. It's very dangerous. Okay, so we're gonna take a little Yi laying out for a ride. I've been pumping some points into him. I'm trying to get used to the mechanics. It's kind of wonky. Like, it doesn't actually glide in an intuitive way. It's kind of a Gooberton. Come on, let's just gotta like hold the space bar. You kind of get some lift, but then you can't use the dash again until you land somewhere. So he's pretty good for uh, you know, getting back and forth in a way. can't make it. You could land. Yeah, and get a little bit higher. So, he's not the perfect glider, but I think he can be pretty good for getting back and forth. It's There's definitely a learning curve. Uh, a learning curve with trying to maneuver these guys. It's just not the easiest in my Honest opinion. Well, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you want to make a trap where you're actually enclosing the uh, Yi Ling, I suggest the structure needs to be at least uh, 20 foundations wide. 
and probably the same amount high. So a very big structure. The um, floating platforms are very expensive to make, but the smaller ones are comparatively less expensive. Anyway, just make a little reverse trap out in the forest and you'll eventually get one. But I'm definitely going to be practicing flying these guys around, getting used to their mechanics. I feel like the rock drake is very similar. You just had to kind of get used to gliding them around. They're not like, they're nothing like a Maywing. My Maywing is still my favorite glider, that's for sure. And second is the gas bags. But anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, do so. Please, I would appreciate you. I want to see you back. And if you do want to support the channel just a little bit more, we got the coffee and we even have YouTube members. You all will get access to my secret Discord channels where I'm going to be dumping extra videos, extra recordings, stuff that doesn't make it into these little tiny YouTube videos. But of course, if you've watched to the end, I appreciate you so much. It helps a lot. You are helping support this channel. But I'll see you later. Bye.